Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Stockton Police Department Operations Building today. Uh, I want to introduce myself. I'm Eric Jones, Chief of Police for the City of Stockton. And I have here uh, Assemblywoman Susan Aigman-Telemontis. We have California State Attorney General Javier Becerra. We have Assistant Chief Ryan Stonebreaker from the California Highway Patrol Valley Division. Our County's District Attorney, Sound King County District Attorney, Tori Berber Salazar. Sound King County Probation Chief, Stephanie James. And we have County Supervisor, Mia Pudwa here today. I wanna thank those that you don't see first, um, behind the scenes, behind the camera, that, that are here today to uh, really be involved in the rewards of this a very important investigation, although there's a lot more work to do still. But these are the law enforcement officers and the deputy district attorneys that were behind the scenes and did all of the very, very difficult work. And so I appreciate that. And I, of course, also appreciate all of the, the leaders who are up here with me today. Our focus is on gun violence and on those who commit violent crimes. Operation Red Ruins was initiated in September 2019 as a multi-agency investigation into the Norteño criminal street gang in Stockton to reduce levels of violence occurring in Stockton and the surrounding communities. There were several subsets of Norteños that were involved. And we feel this operation named Red Ruins is fitting because we disrupted the very foundations of these very, very violent groups. Some quick history for Stockton. In 2018, last year, we saw about a 40% reduction in homicides and 33% reduction in other non-fatal shootings. However, in spring and early summer of this year, 2019, we saw a spike in violence where several conflicts erupted at the same time. Many of these conflicts were the individuals and groups that we're talking about today. We then instituted in the city of Stockton, Operation RAVEN, RVN, which stands for Reducing Violence in Our Neighborhoods. And this was, in essence, me asking for the assistance of our state and federal partners to come in and give us extra capacity and resources to assist in reducing our violent crime. And I want to thank you, Sir Attorney General, for bringing those state resources to Stockton because we see, again, the results here. In operations like this, and these <coughs> firearms you see on this table are now off the streets. This investigation included critical assistance from the following organizations and agencies. San Joaquin County District Attorney's Office, San Joaquin County Probation Office, California Department of Justice Special Operations Unit, San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office, Manteca Police Department, and the California Highway Patrol. Members of the Norteño gang have been responsible for inflicting a high level of criminal activity, including homicide, attempted homicide, assault with a deadly weapon, illegal weapons possession, illegal weapons trafficking, robberies, and narcotics trafficking. These Norteño subsets have terrorized our community for far too long. During this investigation, several acts of violence were prevented with arrests being made in those crimes. Several search warrants were also carried out during the investigation, which led to the discovery of many firearms and narcotics. Here's just some information regarding those cases. On September 22nd, 2019, investigators learned Jaime Valadez and John Roach conspired to kill a rival gang member, multiple rival gang members. Surveillance was established and all four suspects, including Jaime Valadez, John Roach, Noe Valadez, and a juvenile male, were seen driving on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Officers from the Stockton Police Department attempted to pull over the vehicle in a parking lot. The suspect's vehicle immediately drove through a wrought iron gate and led officers on a vehicle pursuit. The suspects continued to flee, crashed into another vehicle, ultimately crashing into a fire hydrant. As a responding Stockton PD sergeant arrived to take the suspects into custody, his patrol vehicle caught on fire. Officers were able to take all of the suspects into custody for attempted homicide with gang enhancements, illegal possession of three firearms, and one AK-47 assault rifle. Those guns were found inside the suspect's vehicle. We actually got footage from that from Falcon 1-0, uh, our aircraft, uh, support aircraft. I would like to.